ahead. Hey everybody, this is Nick Allen here at Mangold Ford and there's a lot of new technology out there. Ford's really been invested in the new technologies that you've seen in a lot of your new vehicles. Wow. One being that I don't think that we've heard a lot about has been Ford Pass Connect. People might see it on the window stickers, they may see something on the web or on TV about it, but we thought we'd take a minute here just to kind of show you a little bit about what that entails and how to set it up on your vehicle. So we'll take a look at this Ranger and we'll get one set up for you. All right guys, so one thing you'll need first off is you've gotta have a smartphone to do this. Um, we need to upload an app, which you'll go to your, if you have an Android, you're gonna go to what you have as this little triangle, it's your Play Store. You'll go in here and you'll look up Ford Pass. F-O-R-D-P-A-S-S. -S. You should have a couple different ones show up on mine, Ford Pass, Ford Pass app. Either one should pull up. And the one you're going to want is the one that says Ford Pass with the little scripted blue F, like you see on all of Ford's vehicles. You'll click on that and upload it. Once that uploads, what we're going to do is we're going to go right into, now the Ford Pass app is available on my phone and you're going to go into that and as soon as it pulls up you may have to answer a few questions if you haven't already done this and set up your own account make sure that i'm not driving <laughs> is clicked and then we're going to add a vehicle one way you can do this is by accessing your phone's camera to scan the vin which is right on the driver's door so let me do that right now i'll click that You'll see this come up on your phone, and then I'll just go to the driver's door here, find the VIN number, scan it, and now it's searching for the vehicle, and it's been found. So we got a picture of our little blue Ranger pulled up here, and we're going to hit get started. Now all this is being done with this phone already being paired up to this vehicle. This would be just an add-on to using Bluetooth connectivity. So to get vehicle details, what we're going to do is instead of starting this vehicle up, we'll just turn it into accessory mode. We're going to hit vehicle details. You're going to want to hit activate vehicle and it's going to start connecting. We'll hit OK and you should see activation pending here. Now what we're gonna... All right, so here is our confirmed Ford Pass connection. It's popped up on the screen. All we're gonna do is yes, we want to have Ford Pass connection established. And now it'll be sending a signal back to your phone. We'll go back here. You'll get it on your phone, vehicle authorization is complete been successfully authorized to remotely do uh, the features of this app with your vehicle. And you'll see right now, this whole home screen will change a little bit. We'll be able to go into vehicle details. And now all of a sudden we'll be able to see fuel mileage, how much we've got until we're empty. You'll be able to see tire pressures. You'll also be able to see your vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot. But we'll go back here to the home screen. All right, now your home screen will now look like this, where you have lock feature, unlock, and remote start. Now to do any one of those, you're just gonna press and hold the button. And once you start to see that spin, that means it, it understands what you want it to do and you can release the, that button. And it'll lock for you, and it'll let you know when the doors are locked. Now all you need to do is just have a cell signal. So this is a great feature for anybody who, who does a lot of traveling, and would like to start the vehicle from inside the airport or just a long distance away, or if somebody's at the house and needs to get into your vehicle, you can press the unlock. And again, once it starts to spin, let go, and the vehicle will unlock. It'll let you know the door's been unlocked, and then whoever's at the house needs to get in your vehicle can do so. And again, if you want to actually remote start the vehicle, same thing, just press and hold. Once it starts to spin, you can release it. The remote start takes a little bit longer. Boop. 
And in this case, we can't start it because we actually have our keys in the vehicle. Um, so it won't allow it to start with keys in here already. But in that case, it would have pulled up that screen and said vehicle started and ready to go basically. And it will give you a countdown for how long it takes. But we just wanted to show you that because this is a new feature for Ford and it's something that a lot of uh, manufacturers are offering. Ford's had it for a couple years now. And this is also another way through service department you can track your points with um, the Ford ownership program. So again, great feature. If you have any questions about the Ford Pass connection app um, or just need help getting it connected, stop on here out here at Mangold Ford. We'd be more than happy to go over it with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was informative. We'll talk to you soon.